bright and early on a Friday morning, quarter past eight, and we're off to the old anvil yard for a weigh-in. So, so the price of brass has jumped up to where uh, I want to take it in. Lovely, lovely. I'm also taking uh, some singles as well. A couple of bags of singles up there. Hopefully, I'll see you at the old anvil yard. Ian, give it a wave. What's happening, Hey, we're having a look at your brassy goodness. Oh, everyday solars. Everyday solars. Look what we've got in here. All clean stuff. That's pretty, isn't it? What a shame. Big black plaques, fire guards. Oh, in here though. Oh, just look at these. Wow. Look at that. Phosphor bronze. Wow. That's that's a handful. Alright, I'm gonna go and wade in. Look at this! The early bird catches the worm. Nobody else eat yard. A bin skillfully deposited there by Big Ian. <laughs> what do you mean you're going to say Big Ian? Big? Empty. The place is empty. All right, let's get unloaded. Eighty kilos, less than forty. Two hundred and forty-one kilos. So I'm shaking because of the. I'm shaking because I know how much I'm going to be getting. Ah, shark spotted today. He wears his boots. Rob, I need to get Grandpa Kevin on it. I'm the lovely Ella. I'm Aaron. Hi. Hi. You do, you're well. There's comments saying I have to come here and film you because they're all missing you. Oh, this is it. I'm going to see you twice. Twice, you've got three times today. It hurts. I have to go home now and load up and come back again. Oh, nice. It's because prices have risen. And that is yours. Oh. It's a good one. Let's have a look. Well, well, ladies and gents, we're back home. Uh, car is again empty. Time to load up again. We took all our empty bins out, put them at one side. Those all the that's iron, so that's going to go. And I've been talking to the lovely Ella, and we've had a discussion about copper prices, and she's convinced me to weigh it in. I was going to uh, kind of wait it out, see if prices will rise. I was listening to Shark Scrapper on Saturday. Uh, but I'm losing space and for the quantity I have does it matter if it really rises another 5p a kilogram you know we're talking the difference of you know 10 or 20 pounds if I on, if I sit on it and go on for it and hope the prices really rise well, I might make another 40 pounds but we're at the point here where space is now beginning to become more important than the extra few pounds in money that I will get I, that's my paint cupboard it's got all my painting there and it's decorating time Easter next week and uh, I need to get into that cupboard anyway so she's convinced me 35 kilo of copper burbright or dry bright. Nice. Another one there. Another one there. Number two copper. And oh. nickel plated. That's got a going. See how under that one. Oh, 
40 kilogram of dry bright. So, 40, 75, 25, 100, 115. Oh, that's going to put a smile on their face, isn't it? 115, 120 kilograms of dry bright. I'll see you at the anvil yard. Oh, ho, ho. that is a sight to behold. Mind you, it's taken me six, it's taken me many, many months to, uh, to collect that. Do you know what's best? Because I've just finished loading. Might be lovely to come outside and said, a piece of pizza for you. And a piece of cake. And a cup of coffee out of my friend. All handmade. Right, second trip to the yard. Imminent. 11, 11 a.m. And we're here, second trip at the old anvil yard. Which is AKA the Scrap Trade Center. Scrap Trade Center, arguably the best prices for non ferrous in the northwest of England. They'll tell you straight, they don't do very good on iron prices. It's not their forte, but uh, it is what it is. And uh, Robert the Man's coming over. Hello, Robert the Man. Yeah, yeah, good. Oh, just keep you distracted and I'll empty you got the... You've got a good eye. <laughs> What's he seen? That's what he's seen, all that lot. But he could have seen something else. He could have seen that I've brought the team some cakes. It always go down well. Cakes or donuts, take them to your scrapyard. See what happens. But more than that, as it's Easter next week, I've bought them all an Easter egg as well. Right, let's get off loading. Keep on the big side of Big Ian. Well, it's actually good to get some help to see, to see the stuff being... Oh, look oh, at that! Oh, okay. Isn't that nice, Robert? Yeah, I'm just watching him. Yeah. Turn, ah. turn sideways! Look at that, is that wind? <laughs> when she do, she... No, no, she he. don't know, he... Ooh. Do you want to have a little scrapper? Yeah, two scrappers. Oh anyway, yeah, I've got to watch that dodgy yeah. block on scales. Yeah, go, make sure you want to Posh now, they've got a chair here. Oh, guys, with all the different categories. Wow. 84. Yeah, I'm going to Tramira. Trava, Travery. No, it's over. 40th wedding anniversary next next month. You've had a woman that's put over you for 40 years. She's been wed to me for 40 years. She's put up for me a lot longer than that. <laughs> you have to have a cake instead. I'll have one after. Come on, we want more YouTube stickers for this scrap trade center. Whoa. See what it is? That guy's telling that guy to knock off to lower the price. It is. Oh, no. I heard what him. I said, he is. Do a joke, Lucy. I'll be 2,000 kilo for the bride. <laughs> Do you want to get Albert to have a heart attack? <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> well, it's been non stop. So, quarter past one. And we're off to do. Oh, pretty flowers. We're off to do the last trip of the day. Oh, third trip of the day and this is uh, cast aluminium battery some stainless steel and garage scrap off to the old anvil yard again it's a third time lucky and it's quiet again you know when you're uh, you're doing some work and you have a 10 milli socket or a 10 milli spanner and you drop it. Well, this is where they end up 
All lost spanners end up here. Right. We got to go and surprise Ella with Ella. Three times in one day. Look at me. And I've got you a little something. That's why I asked you what was your favourite colour, I was going to paint it and I thought well it's a scrapyard, it's better off being a rusty colour. Absolutely, and it's not staying here. And you have a magnet up back so you can stick it on something. No, I'm not keeping it here, I'm going to take it home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks Ian. What did it weigh? What did it pay? We'll find out when we get back, that's the third one. Get home. And we're back. And the car's empty. And we've just got to find somewhere to put the old empty paintings for the next collection. And the sun is shining. And it's now half past three. Although we have stopped to make a brew. Now, I've moved a load of stuff. So you think I would have loads of space. But it don't work like that. No. What happens is, whatever's here, expands to fill the space that I've created. We have some space. And it looks like since I left, we've had a little bit of a scrapple arch. Don't it? That's because things are precariously balanced. Oh, oh bollocks. You hate it when you go and take all your stuff in. So that was obviously on top of there. Yeah. Sure, no shit, sure look. And uh, that's cast aluminium. And I've just got to wait in all my cast aluminium. Well, it's a good start to me next lot. Right. Uh, uh, I got my work cut out. Yeah. Well, before I'll tidy up, and then we'll talk about special effects. Anna, I've got I've got a mail call. Got home, so I'll spend an hour tidying up. Come back. Talk about what did it weigh? What did it pay? Ten past five. Well, it's been a full day. And we've got a walkway back. Still got a tidy little bit of a chicane, but we're getting there. But whoa, look at that, we're gonna have a dance in there. And it's about time we add ourselves a beer. Uh, Beer, 2.8%. Ooh, you weren't supposed to see that. You weren't supposed to see that. Anyway, ooh, look, ready for, what did it weigh, what did it pay? Well, a little chat as well before that. Did we get over there? Manchester Scrapman. I hope he doesn't mind me showing his video, because I need to talk about this guy. He's, uh do very 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 well uh but in a minute in a minute in a minute why well i've got to thank rafael scrapper i really have to do because none of this would have been possible because <laughs> find me space my magnetic space thanks rafael but then looking for that I wouldn't have had that. Wow, I thought which best which is the best angle for this. 
It's a welder. Right. Eenan, this scrap truck, Eenan this shed, given to me by my Black Country Diecast. Pretty sure, I'm sure it wasn't intelligent tinkering. Ah, I've lost some of the copper in the back, I weighed it in. <laughs> talk about him, talk about me. Right, so, me. I'm a hobbyist scrapper. Yes, I know you're gonna see shortly a mega payout. Well, that, that's been a, a year, at least in the collecting, at least. Uh, some of it I may have had longer. I kind of bottled out. Watching shirt scrapper the other day, prices are rising. Listening to other people in Europe, they're saying the prices are rising. Telling me, you're better off waiting until End of April, May. Well, the thing is, I've other things to do. And you saw, I'm very limited in space. I took three car loads in today, and I've still not got any space. I need to get in that cupboard because there's certain materials in there that I need. And as Jimmy C and friends will tell me every time I do a video, what is the point of moving stuff? for half an hour to get at the stuff that you want and then bring all that stuff back. Well, Jimmy, I've seen the light. I am going to be dreadfully upset in six weeks' time if, as when you see, I, today I got 6.35 a kilogram for dry bright copper. I am going to be awfully upset in six weeks time if the price rises to 660 670 seven pound i did a video many moons ago where i chickened out at seven pound weighed it all in i haven't weighed copper in since that so it might have been about a year i might just put something up there if i can so i'm an hobbyist scrapper manchester scrapper here He's a street scrapper, goes out daily round the streets finding stuff. I came across him by accident. Met quite a few other scrappers I know here and abroad in the chat. And it's always nice to see other people in the chat, you know, other, and you think, oh, I know him, I know him. I was actually... Somebody actually recommended him. No, somebody recommended me to him in the chat. I'd already seen him, but he contacted me. He put a comment in the chat and saying, hi, Ian. Now, we're only about 10 to 15 miles away. And this is getting to the point. He goes out there daily. You... you you start to look and read about what he says. He says he's new to scrapping. And he's certainly new to YouTube. My only comment yesterday was like, he wanted to know why I was playing Scrapman 69's videos. Long play. They're still on, they're still on long play here. Look, they stay over. Scrapman69 is still on long play as I do this video. He'll be on all day, all night. He wanted to know why. I explained to him that uh, before you can get paid for your adverts that, that YouTube put on your videos, you need to have the watch time. And you need to have the view time. Uh, you need to have the watch time. You need to have the subscriptions. Now, I believe they've changed it. In Back in the day, my day, it used to be a 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours watch time. Some people easily find, get the 1,000 subscribers. Very rarely, takes a long time to get that 4,000 
watch hours. I believe they're changing it now. It's going to be 500 and 2,000. I've heard. But then again, I've heard there's catches with that. So, Manchester Scrapper, that's the reason. That particular video annoyed me. No, not him. He went weighing in. It says he's new at scrapping. Now, as I said, I'm a hobbyist scrapper, but I have been scrapping a long time. He's went, that video is one day old and he's gone and weighed in non-ferrous day. That's not what the video says. That's what the video says. Non-ferrous day. At the end, he does, what does it weigh? What does it pay? I was shocked at the low prices he was given at the scrapyard he'd been to. I've commented, I'll be honest, I said, look, you're not too far away. Get down to the old anvil yard. And I said that earlier in, the, in my video today. They don't do the best on iron. They'll tell you that. But they said they'll beat anybody in the northwest on non-ferrous. And, and, and there's, there's two kind of levels to here, unfortunately. Some guy pops in. Probably never see him again. They'll get a certain rate. Regulars will get another rate. It might be the same at the yard he's been going to. They might think, oh, who's this guy? Oh, we'll just take it. He's brought in a few kilos of this, a few kilos of that. We'll give him this rate. Once he starts talking to them, taking them cakes and Easter eggs and donuts, they might get to like him and put him up the next, put him up to the next rate. But that's it. He's got to talk to the scrapyard. He's got to negotiate. I went this morning with my brass because it reached a level I was happy with. When I was there, I was talking to Ella and I said, I've got all my copper. And we talked and we negotiated. And she gave me a price. I said, I'm not happy with it. I'm going to stick with it until see what happens. And she gave me a little bit more. Not what I wanted. Way far from what I wanted. But then I thought, it's always coming in. But I need that space. And sometimes space... He's worth more than money. And I, I'm a hobbyist scrapper. So it, it's not as though I have to get the right amount of money. As, as, as a businessman would have to. So my advice to yourself, Manchester scrapper, is just watch what I'm going to be show you today. One day after you've weighed in. And yes, I am probably, because I promote that scrapyard, I'm probably a tiny little bit better than the average Joe Public, Joe Public that walks in. Plus I take them cakes and donuts and Easter eggs. But these prices are only going to be, yeah, that a bit higher than anywhere else and I'm pretty sure that those regulars that take in 100, 200 tonnes of stuff are way better prices than myself. Like I say, I'm a, I'm a hobbyist. I have told the old Anvil Yard about you. They went... Oh, God, not another YouTuber coming down. Get yourself a sticker, mate, and get it up on that sticker wall. Ella will hate you. Well, hate me. <laughs> what did it weigh? What did it pay? I'm going to press, you know. Well, I'm, I'm going to stress this is not bragging. This is still saying, if you don't know, you don't know. And we're here, scrapping community, to help people point them in the right direction. You went to a yard yesterday, and that said, 
I got stainless steel with seven kilos. I got 600 pound a ton. I've gone today with stainless steel. I took in, where's, it, where's my finger? Six kilos. So one kilo less than you. And I've got 860 pound a ton. And he talks about brass. He says he took his brass in and he got 2,800 pounds a ton. That'd be 2,850. Yeah, yeah come in for me tea. Find me brass. Find me brass. I've took in my brass today, okay, a, a much larger, larger quantity. It was 281, you've got to knock the 40 off for the box. £3,900 a tonne. Now, I did have to negotiate that up a little. It was £3.85 yesterday. But that did give me a, a nice £939. Very nice. He goes through, he goes a whole range. I need Ali, Ali. I don't think he took any casting. This, that and the other. Just compare. Go watch that video. Compare his prices, what his yard gave to him, to what I got at the old Amble Yard. Well, as you can see, folks off YouTube, it's getting dusk. It's getting dark. And uh, we can nip over to the light. I can see a light somewhere. There we go. It's... Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it's five degrees. Near the big jumper weather. Now, that'd be minus five. But, uh, well, we've been fed and watered. We've got the chimney up. We've got the fire on. Get it hung up there. Stop banging around. Uh, it's here already. Temperature's rising in here. It's getting... I'm a little toasty round here, but on your knees in, on your knees. Nice. What sort of throwing wooded fire was that? It wasn't very good, was it? There we go. No porker. <laughs> uh, well, no. Uh, shut up, Ian. Shall we porker? That's terrible. It's shocking. I'm getting old. I need these elks to get me up. Over there. Where are we up to? Oh, my goodness. It's five past seven in the evening. I've been at it since... What was it? Quarter past eight this morning. And I'm getting old and slow, so uh, I am feeling a bit run down. I feel as though I'm losing steam. You know what I mean? Losing steam. There's only one thing to do. Put some steam. Back in me. <laughs> Terrible, that. Dad's joke, sorry. Right, so with some steam back inside of me. Cider. Inside it, there's a joke there about cider. And before we get to James, P, the shed shop. What did it weigh? What did it pay? Come oh, on, before we start. <sighs> so, I know it. Well, it's from... Uh... Oh, I showed you. James P, the shed shop. And there's his sticker. But he didn't send me two. I could have put one up at the old anvil yard today. I've also got his card. James P. The Shed Shop on YouTube. On us. Dan YouTube. I'm not just a scrapper. I'm a wannabe engineer. In here, behind there, behind that green screen, there's a, there's a milling machine and there's a Myford Super 7 lathe in bits. 
and behind there there's a another lace and I can't even remember what it was called. I know it's a yellow one. So I'm a wannabe engineer, so I follow engineering channels. And along the line, you know, I've been collecting things that I, I will need in engineering. You know, so I picked up a vernier. There we go. I, 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 I know it's a big vernier. But as I was once told my... When I got my first welding set, I was told... You can turn a big welding set down. But you can't turn a little welding set up so i you know he was like i was given the choice for a vernier and i'm thinking well i'll apply the same thing you can measure big things with a big vernier you can also measure small things with a big vernier but you can't measure big things with a small vernier so i watch people like James P in the shed shop. Let's have a look at some of his stuff. <coughs> there we go. James is into engineering. There's lots of bits. He's into tools and other stuff. Ah, uh, like Unimat milling and spindle runout. Which one caught my eye? It was that one, the uh, unexpected tool sale. I like that. Oh, YouTube saying that I've got. Listen, YouTube, I do not have an ad blocker on. I click that. I click that. It goes off. I'm back in business, but I don't have a blocker. But it keeps going on. So there's some comments. I want to like going on here. I like seeing. People that I know, you know, I've seen Matty, Matty's workshop. I know Matty's workshop. Uh, what do I say? New subscriber, Big Vic sent me. Well, I don't know Big Vic, but further down you see Big Vic's workshop. So, I'll be going over to Big Vic's workshop and uh, see what he does. And that's how your, your, your channels grow, in it? You know, uh, varied interests here and there and everywhere. Ah, he's got one of those oil cans that are rare. Oh, God, one of those old-fashioned drills, which I've got bucket loads of them. <sighs> James P. From the Shed Shop. Thank you very much for the... Uh, the sticker i do watch your channel i do scroll through i do watch lots of engineering channels we're going on so we went in and we had some cast alley a thousand and twenty pound a ton one pound and two p a kilogram 42 kilograms we would have had more if we'd have taken that bag in so i've got a skate pin but I didn't. Stainless steel, six kilogram, eight hundred and fifty pound a ton. Uh, I can't help but going back to Manchester Scrapper who only got six hundred pound a ton. Batteries, two kilogram, still just under six hundred pound a ton. Here are one pound nineteen. Mixed garage scrap, okay. Two hundred and ninety-two kilograms left. Nest the forty for the tub. Two five two quarter of a ton only picking up 170 pound a ton like i said the old anvil yard don't do brilliant on on iron but it's the first run in the morning was uh some singles cables i needed the space i was pleasantly surprised that's grade two singles number two singles two pounds 75 a kilogram got me 100 pounds just under Right, the black solar cable. It's a uh, better price than household. Not quite good as 
good as grade two singles. Still, two pound sixty-five a kilogram, and I got me eighty-two pound brass. I finally weighed me brass in. Now, uh, yesterday it was three pound eighty-five. Today I got three pound ninety. So you never know. Every day the price can change. Again, I had 281, less than 40, 241 kilograms, giving me 939, giving me... <coughs> and <coughs> I really am going to cry in two months' time if the price of shoots up. But, I've said it before, you know, sometimes space is worth more than the goods, you know, and... Uh, I needed the space. Ian, in his shed, I've had a long day. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope the Manchester scrap has not fell out with me by guiding him. And I'm sure you'll be welcome at the old Anvil Yard in Lee. Uh, you lot, take care. See you in the next video, which shouldn't be too long. Ta-ra for now. And every ton of iron starts with a bottle cap.